human population is increasing like never before. We are now adding 1 billion people to the planet every 12 years. That's about 220,000 per day. The list of problems this is causing, or at least complicating, is a long one. Good day and welcome to another show of Taking Sides, where we explore the views, facts, as well as both sides of different issues. I'm Philomena, and on today's show we will be digging deeper into the issue of whether our growing population is becoming a problem. Today we are broadcasting from the beautiful island of Barbados. Joining me today is local resident Phoenix. Hi, my name is Phoenix and I'm from Barbados. Barbados is a sovereign country with an estimated population of 273,000 people. We contribute only 0.004% to the world population. Even though we have such a small population, 20% of the population lives in poverty and nearly 10% cannot meet their basic daily food needs. Thank you for joining us. This is such a nice and peaceful island compared to where I come from, which is New York. The city is always buzzing. It has become evident that there has been a rapid increase in the human population. What are your views on this issue coming from such a small population? Barbados clearly doesn't have a population problem. Surely it's a highly economized countries like the USA, India and China that really have a population problem. Not actually. Population growth is a big issue that affects everyone. As the human population increases globally, the demand for resources increases and this often results in highly populated countries exhausting their resources and moving on to other countries' resources. Have you ever thought of why such a large percentage of Barbados lives in poverty? After exhausting their own resources, densely populated countries look to other countries for resources, which is mostly to the expense of these countries. I suppose you have a point. Seeing as how many people live in poverty in Barbados, even though there are so few people, densely populated countries are only concerned about feeding themselves. They exhaust all their resources and resort to using other countries' resources. For example, the land grabs, which are occurring in Africa. The locals suffer. The definition states that human overpopulation occurs when the number of people in a group exceed the carrying capacity of a region occupied by that group, which in turn would lead to the overuse on their resources. Let's look at this statement for a moment. What evidence is it that we have a population problem? In a way, I do think we have a problem. A good example that shows we are exploiting our resources faster than we can replenish them is Earth of Shoot Day. This year it took place on the 19th of August. Statistics show that humanity has exhausted nature's budget for this year and for the rest of the year we will maintain our ecological deficit by drawing down local resource stocks and accumulating carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We are operating in overshoot. That's very scary, Phoenix. And I think instead of playing the blame game, we should look at what are the best ways to solve the problem. Do we increase resources or decrease the population? Do you think that solutions such as contraception, monitoring the population, supporting local farming and overall education will help deal with human overpopulation? Now, I mean, contraception is definitely a choice, but in many cultures, it is forbidden. Haha, <laughs> well, that would be a whole new conversation. Yes, yes, indeed. But it definitely is one of the options. Thank you, Phoenix, and thank you to all our viewers. Please forward us your tweets and join our Facebook page, Taking Sides, and tell us which side you are on.